Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Wilton at art to life I wanted to just show you this uh, kind of cool thing that happened and I thought I'd share it with you. Um, so I have this picture that I've been working on and this is on a piece of canvas. And I hang it um, on different panels. Um, I work on the floor, I peel it off and I just thumbtack it to the top of this. This is a panel, this is like a, a large panel. But this panel is a panel that I've also drawn on and I've taught on here. I was demonstrating for a video and I was doing all these large pictures and I was writing all these ideas about composition and everything, and putting paint all over this. And um, you know, this was in the studio and then I needed to work on this picture. So I pinned this to this and what happens is, so you put this on here and do you see how like, like what starts happening, all this cool stuff around the bottom, like it's so much better, <laughs> you know, like, like I like the canvas on this picture now. So I might just end up gluing this canvas on here. So for example, so, so what's happening here is th these marks, these look really great because they're completely unintentional. They're not, when I was writing this, I was not thinking that this was gonna be here. In fact, I was writing a, comp, you know, a bunch of words here. This is a completely different mindset. What I'm thinking, I'm talking about being loose and I'm talking about time, I'm writing across here. Then I lay this on top of here, which has got all its own thinking, and then it goes right up against here. So now we have this kind of thinking, and then we go across here and we're into this kind of thinking. And these are completely different kinds of thinking. And that's why it's exciting to look at. You know, like I would never paint this thing here. I would never come up with that. That's, that's an accidental thing. The reason it looks good is because they're so different from one another. So the game is like, this is how we want to paint. We need to be able to like think so objectively that we can make marks that feel like we're in a different planet from the other ones. And that's why things get exciting. That's why this, like this looks to me, and again, this is subjective, right? So I'm not, you know, dictating this, but this is like a pretty powerful, really interesting section of the painting to me. And I didn't really plan it, right? It just happened that way. So let me show you. I'm gonna paint on this corner up here. I'm gonna take some paint, and this could be something you could try. This is what I'm excited about. I'm kind of into this like pieces of canvas and then putting it on things, but check it out. So I'm gonna lift this up, and I'm gonna paint, let's say, over here. And when I put it back on, now I've got that green strip there. You see how it's just really, um, it's just really a different, it's a different thing. Now they are pretty unrelated, but in a way I think this canvas right now is better looking on this. If this was glued on here, it's way better. It's just way better. And that's crazy because I didn't have anything to do with that. I was just in a different frame of mind. So that's a really great thing to get, to understand that's what, we, what we're trying to do in our work. If we look at this picture here, what's going to make this great is if I can approach this with some different kinds of thinking. Everything's done the same way. I mean, it's, it's decorative, it's pretty, it's not very risky, it's all kind of small, and I'm doing all these little scratches. But compared to this, this is really going off. And that's just um, pretty cool because that's something that we can all harness and it's easier, and it's, it's just a different, it's another, it's, it's like a pivot, it's a different way to think. I hope that makes sense, and, and if it does, and if you can relate to that, and um, let's, let's talk about it, leave a comment below, I, I'd love that. And uh, again, if some of these uh, resonate with you, some of these little, little uh, studio talks, um, please go ahead and share them with your friends, because that builds a community, and that just makes it all much better. So, um, and also, you know, if you have a picture you're working on, um, you can upload it into those comments. I think it's really cool when people see what you're doing too. It's like, I mean, it's selfish because it makes it more interesting for me because like I look at this all day long. So when someone posts an image in their work, it just fires everybody up and it, it's really cool for me to see. So um, anyway, I hope you're having a great Sunday and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.